The things that you put in your ear, it can cause you to become the best version of yourself or it can deter you away from your true self. Music is secretly destroying your mind. Let's get right to the video. One thing that I realized on my path to my spiritual journey with Jesus Christ and just becoming more in tune to myself, I realized that music is just one big instant gratification. It's not really a big topic that's talked about, but the mind and music can definitely affect you. A lot of doctors and a lot of therapists tell you to listen to music, but some of the things in today's society like sex, money, music, it may seem nice on the outside because the beat sounds nice and the voice sounds very aesthetic. And because a lot of people are drawn to that person, they're gaining millions of people listening to that person. More people are gonna be drawn towards that, right? And so crazy, I see all these different rappers today in today's society, man. So many different rappers called Little This, Little That, Little That. They get so much credit, okay? But all of them talk about the same exact thing. And because everyone else is listening to that, we, we don't think about the lyrics of what they're listening to. We only think about, wow, he's having a lot of people, you know, listening towards him. Let's see how he is. And everyone's saying that he's fire and everyone's saying that this guy's fire, this guy's fire, but he's not, he's not fire. When he's deterring your soul, that's not fire at all, bro. Because what I realized when I was in the world, okay, I was in the worldly actions. I believe that if you love God, then you, you wouldn't be a friend of the world. And I was a friend of the world about a year and a half ago. And I listened to, to different rappers, all these different rappers, not thinking about the lyrics of what they, what they were saying, bro. And so because of that, when I've heard nothing but lustful actions towards women, my parents and the Bible teaches you to respect women and wait towards marriage. But because I was listening to that music, guys, I was more prone to actually have sex before marriage. You know what I mean? Because you have to realize that our subconscious mind holds 95% of our brain, bro. A lot of people don't get that. 95% of our brain is controlled by the subconscious mind. Everything in the past is a representation of you, okay? So that means when you keep putting something inside of your mind and you have to keep in mind, music is the biggest thing in today's society. That's why they promote nothing but Beats uh, headphones, AirPods, promoting all these different headphones so that way you can listen to music to control your brain, bro, okay? And again, as stated previously, I, when I was in the world, I listened to the beat because the beat was nice, I didn't really analyze Okay, I really, I really didn't analyze what the lyrics were saying, bro. And when I realized was that I was a lukewarm Christian, you know what I mean? I was in the world and I, I still followed Christ, but I was a lukewarm. So that means I just didn't pay attention to that. But see, you need to pay attention. You have to get outside of the world and realize what this matrix is doing towards your mind. Why is it that so many people from back in the 40s and 50s, you see them back in the day, they were dressed, dressed properly. They had suits at the age of 15. You wonder why, bruh? Because in a society back in the 40s and 50s, respectful actions towards women, very respectful uh, music as well. You didn't see no one in the 40s and 50s dressed, you know, immoderately. You didn't see people back in the 40s and 50s just show their cleavage out and, and do all that stuff, man. Now I have one question for you. If you were to actually analyze that, would you want your kids to be listening to that music, bro? As even when I was listening to positive music, when I got outside of the world, I was listening to, you know, classic R&B. Okay, uh, it's got named D'Angelo. And one song, let me tell you how powerful the, the subconscious mind is and how sensitive it is towards music, okay? The song called Brown Sugar, D'Angelo. I kept listening to that because, it, you know, it was nice and it was very classy. But I realized what D'Angelo was saying was that, you know, I want some of your brown sugar. If you guys know uh, D'Angelo, put it in the comments down below, man, okay? Um, but he kept saying, I want some of your brown sugar. You know what I mean? I just realized a couple weeks after I've started listening to it on, on a repetitional level, I started seeing brown sugar everywhere. In the stores, everywhere. People were asking me, do you want brown sugar? You know what I mean? Or and people were saying, which one is better? You know, um, the brown sugar is better than the white sugar, bro. You know what I mean? It's so crazy. That's the power of the, of the subconscious mind. So when you're putting this mainstream music inside of your brain, ah, oh, brother, be careful, man. You want to get yourself a, a, a wife, but you're listening to all this music talking about um, ha committing adultery. You know, having sex before marriage. I, I smashed this girl, now I'm smashing this other girl, man. You know what I mean? I have all the money. You say you love God, but you can't serve two masters. That's what they're portraying in today's society. The love of money. Not one song have you heard nothing about God. Not one song have you heard nothing about betting yourself as a human being. Now just imagine if you were to flip it around talking about godliness, talking about respect, talking about men pulling up their pants instead of sagging their pants, bro. You see men sagging their pants, now you see so many men nowadays sagging their pants, not realizing that it actually started 
in prison. Uh-oh, didn't mean to go there, brother. If you were to actually listen to music, be aware of what type of music you're listening to. Because the people inside the world of today will, will keep listening to the music because the beat sounds nice. But remember, the devil controls everything that's instant gratification, bro. Everything in the world, okay, you can't be a friend of the world. If you, if you really love God, you can't be a friend of the world. Meaning drugs, sex, lust, committing adultery, all these different things are just instant gratification, which is controlled by the devil, okay? It's all a distraction, bro. So be careful. I hope you guys get some out of the video. I really do. And if you guys did, like the video, man. Like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, we're doing spiritual, physical, mental, and also financial growth in this channel. Okay, I'm actually gonna promote some financial uh, stuff for you guys. Comment down below if y'all have any questions on the music industry and just any other videos you guys want me to do and I'll do them for you guys, okay? But look, man, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.